All right, so this is a tutorial for the beginners in Avogadro software. Uh, this first tutorial will teach you how to download the software, learn the basic tools, build a simple molecule, and manipulate this molecule. So we'll start with the download process. You'll have to open your browser and Google Avogadro software. Ta-da! So the first link should be this. You click on it and it will get you to the Wikipedia page for Avogadro software. Here you have a huge button saying Get Avogadro, so you click on it. You will get to the SourceForge uh, so website and your download should start automatically. If it doesn't, then you have to click on either of these two links. If everything goes well, you will have to save the executable file for Avogadro and then click on it. So that's my security here. So then you run the program, you will get to the installation and you will get it on your computer. I won't do it because I already have it. So. Now let's get to the learn the tools. So the first time we're going to open an Avogadro window, it should look something like this. So your basic tools are right here in the second toolbar. So you get the tool settings and the display settings. And you get the view window right here. Second, you get these buttons right here that let you draw something, rotate around, um, change a molecule within a plane, or stretch a bond. This is simply a manipulation tool. So, uh, and Then we get to the selection tool, which lets you select an atom or a whole molecule, a rotation, an auto-optimization tool, and the measurement tool. So if you ever forget what these buttons are for, if you just put your mouse on it and leave it for a second, you will see a little uh, text box pop up that will explain whatever this button is. Very useful. You also have these buttons on top here. So file, as usual, it's all the opening, closing, and saving. Then you have the view, build, select, extensions, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. So now we will get to the build simple molecule step. So to build something you have to click on the build tool which is right here, it's like a pencil. On the left bottom here you can select the element you're gonna work with so you have the common ones right here and you can click on the other dot 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 to get to the periodic table and from here you can select the atom that you want to insert. So let's start by drawing a methanol. So I select the carbon and I simply click in a millimeter right here. Because I have a little check mark when it says adjust hydrogens, the program, the program automatically adds the number of hydrogens this middle atom should have. So to see my methan methane from different angles, I can click on the navigation tool. Here you have three possibilities. You either click on the left button and you can rotate wherever you want. You click on the middle button and scroll it to zoom in or zoom out and you can zoom out indefinitely. Yay! And you can use the right button wherever you click lets you translate your molecule within the plane. So let's be get back to our building menu. Uh, so now I need to add an oxygen. So I select, I select oxygen right here and then I click on any hydrogen I want and I will get to my methanol molecule. Which is very cute. So um, now if, let's say, I want to get rid of this hydrogen and add a double bond right there, I can, first of all, 
optimize the geometry, so go into extension optimize, which makes this bond a bit longer, so more accessible. Then I get back to my building. I select carbon, and then I just pull and create a double bond. This can also be done simply by selecting a double bond order right here, and you'll get to the same thing. So, this is my new molecule. If you want to undo, then you just press on Control Z, or you can go into View, I'll actually edit and undo change bond order. Um, got back to my methanol. Uh, if you're a bit lazy or if you're building big molecules, you might want to use the build insert fragment, which has a whole bunch of pre made molecules just for you. So if you go into alcohols, you already have methanol. So you click on insert fragment. And you get a brand new, oops, methanol. So now they're stuck together, which is not very useful. But you can't delete it, and you get only one. Um, so this is pretty it for the very simple tools. Uh, so we'll get back to you on the more advanced settings in our next tutorial. So thank you for your attention. I'll see you.